Rachel St. Hours, Baltimore, Maryland. Roadkill. The cousins came in early June. They brought black wax candles. They burned to the wick. They brought the ghost of a late family dog. They brought ant silk slips, which they wore day and night. They brought old candy canes, which they sucked into points. They brought a book about bird watching. They brought their pet toad, who lived in a jar. They brought vials of rainwater and ice from the winter. They brought uncle's used pistol. They brought it all in a crate that was shipped to the farm two days before they were, and we greedily looked in. And when they came, they brought the South and their accents and their bitter baby doll charm. They brought their small selves on skeleton frames. And as they settled onto our bedroom floor on a single air mattress, Mama took us aside on the staircase landing and told us to remember that these are your cousins who've come a long way, who love to be loved and love all the same. These are your cousins, bone poor in two big t-shirts and two small shorts. These are your cousins who will stay here a while, who you'll be kind to and love like new sisters. Two dark-haired pretties, two gray-eyed girlies who aren't twins though they look the same, who swing on the tree swing, who eat worms on dares, who are dirty and scummy but you won't say a word, who mourn their dead dog, who passed in the winter, who stay up all night full of strange spooks, who eat jam from the jar and bread from the bag. These are your cousins who you will not pinch or hit who you will not tease or poke, and you will be kind because who knows what they hide in their little bat hearts.